What's up everybody? This is Stoneman and welcome to our very first episode of Stoneman Angels NFT World. I'm super pumped to showcase some amazing artwork today. In the NFT community, I'm known as the angel of NFTs. Why? Because I like to go around matching collectors with artists, which is why I came up with this channel. It's just another way for artists to come and showcase their artwork. By no means is this financial advice nor am I trying to make you buy anything. If anything, grab your coffee, tea, popcorn, snacks, whatever you need. Sit down, relax, and enjoy the show. With that said, let's get this show on the road. So before we get started, I just want to let everyone know that if you are interested in contacting the artist or want more information about them, you can find a link to their Twitter account and a link to their work or website in the description down below. Okay, who do we have first? All right, so our first artist is named Arrow. So Arrow says, balance is the most important rule in the world. Consuming modern and traditional ways is his strategy. Cover half part fox, then distort the rest and see what you get. He does chaos with pencil. Well, this is truly an amazing pencil drawing. All right, who do we have next? Okay, Art NFT. The artist's name is Nikhil, and he's a student, so he is not yet working. Regardless of that, I think we can all agree that Nikhil has some mad skills. I don't think you'll have any problems paying off your school debt with art like this. All right, who's next? All right, next up, Bastion ADN Berlin. Bastion is a Berlin-based multidisciplinary artist. He focuses mainly on photography and digital art. He likes to experiment with different styles and likes to explore new possibilities. With that said, his latest venture was into AI-created and enhanced art. For example, this piece here, which is called Blood Feather. He has a professional background in public relations and digital design. He came into the NFT space in the beginning of October of 2021, but has been putting his eyes on it for far longer. NFTs gave him the opportunity to share his artwork with a wider audience. Still, this is just a hobby for him, one that he takes quite seriously. He is not just a creator. From time to time, he is also a collector of NFTs. So Bastion is definitely someone you might want to follow on Twitter. You never know, he might like your next piece. He says his DMs are always open on Twitter. He's always up for a good discussion. All right, so next up we have Bitey Bitehead. Love that name. Bitey Bitehead is a female artist who based her artistic name on her love of dogs. She has two dogs who playfully wrestle and pretend to bite each other's heads. She's been a lifelong creative person who has an honors bachelor's degree in communications with an art and art history focus, along with an entrepreneurial essential certificate from Harvard. Wow, that's impressive. She dove into NFTs and NFT art back in February 2021. She uses her own physical acrylic paint pouring abstract art paintings by converting them into electronic textures and then creates her own unique patterns in each 3D animation or 2D artwork, demonstrating her strong color theory with vibrant and harmonious colors in each piece. From time to time between artworks, she also blogs about NFT topics and shares them to the community on Twitter. Currently, she has works on Foundation, OpenSea, Object, Rarible, and Versum coming soon on the Ethereum and Tez networks. The majority of her work has already been sold to regular collectors. Some pieces are only available on secondary markets and some collectors are not selling their collections at all. It looks like Bitey Bitehead is doing pretty well for herself. Keep up the great work. Can't wait to see what you do in the future. All right, let's see who's next. All right, so next up we have Captain Heartburn. This guy is awesome. 
His work is all hand-drawn and then randomized. He lives in the woods and sells high-end axes for a living, so this is very fitting for him. <laughs> and he has a big beard, so this is almost like a self-portrait. I love this collection. All right, so who's up next? All right, here we have Crypto NFT Coin. All right, so Crypto NFT Coin has come up with an 8-bit NFT game. All new interactive NFT game. First wave, five levels, five 8-bit per level, 500 total. Purchase 8-bit NFTs and unlock original image. Once original image is unlocked, you will be the sole owner of exclusive 8-bit NFT and original ultra rare combo. New releases daily, floor prices vary by level. I don't know about you, but I personally like the 8-bit graphic art. It makes me feel nostalgic. It brings me back to the original Nintendo days. Those were simpler times. Alright, so next up we have Dead Square. I love Dead Square. Uh, so Dead Square is a super cool limited NFT collection on the Polygon blockchain. Each square is made by random generated colors and consists of one to five copies depending on its rarity. The first generation will consist of about 50 different squares and it is up to you to determine who is the most stylish. Why get a dead square you say? Aside from being an awesome randomized NFT project, you can help them build the future of dead square. They will also be giving 20% of all sales back to the community, which makes dead square a collector as well. By getting a Dead Square, you will be granted into the Dead Square Club and given a voice in later projects. I think this is a super cool project. I can't wait to see what Dead Square does in the future. This is someone you definitely want to be following on Twitter. All right, we have Digicaps. Digicaps are a cool collection of digital bottle caps from the Dreadlands, a post-apocalyptic world disseminated by a catastrophic meteor strike. The Crypto Cap collection is the first of a number of bottle cap collections, with 999 caps in total to be released for each one. I know DigiCaps and his caps are selling like crazy. He even has a few celebrities looking into his caps, like Snoop Dogg and Paris Hilton. These are definitely hot ticket items. Okay, so John Marlowe. Again, I love the 8-bit graphic art. This one is called the Happy Pizza. He also has another piece called Cheesy Comforts. What can I say about John Marlowe? He really likes his pizzas. He does offer different pieces other than pizza. I recommend you go and check it out. I love his work. All right, Luca the Astronaut NFT. This here is a cool project. There is a full story behind this project. It's full of danger, excitement, and wondrous creatures. Some will want to help Luca and others to harm. Luca has vowed to explore and seek knowledge no matter the perils. Armed only with an open mind and a good heart, he is determined to embrace any challenge. Come travel with Luca as he takes his first trepidatious steps into Exedia. This is a very cool project. I recommend you check it out. Okay, so here we have MD28. A little about the artist. He is a nature photographer who loves to shoot animals and or people in action. Each photo is unique and that's why he sells them as NFTs. I absolutely love his work. All right, so here we have Modest Design Mentalist. Modest Mentalist is about embracing the concept of simplicity. In other words, the minimalism aspect of life. This could be about everything in our life. The work here is all about how to keep the modesty as the world we live in is full of insanity. Imperfection is a reflection of perfection. Uh, truer words have never been said. I'm a big fan of this artist, mostly because I can appreciate the simplicity in his work. This is someone you definitely want to follow. NFT AVJ Creations. AVJ punks are unique one-of-one -one skull collectible available on OpenSea. Attributes of Phase 1 and 2, AVJ punk will be used to finalize the 3D avatars in Phase 3. 
He also does detailed cultural murals. This is an artist of many talents. This collection is super hot right now and someone you definitely want to follow. Okay, so next up, Nug FTs, 5K strains of NFTs. Launching the top 5,000 cannabis strains in the digital format. Each strain will have different characteristics that will represent the value of the NFT. The cannabis industry is only going to continue to grow. With more and more states legalizing cannabis, there's no end in sight. They would like to be the first cannabis company in the metaverse, bringing real life hobbies, interests, and communities into Web3. This sounds like an exciting opportunity. If you have any questions, you can DM them on Twitter. I'm sure they would love to hear from you. Okay, here we go. Oaks of Orakion. <laughs> I love this project. This project also has an amazing backstory to it. The Orcs of Arachion are a collection of programmatical, randomly generated NFTs on the Ethereum blockchain. They consist of 1,111 random created orcs with a high resolution of 5,000 by 5,000 pixels and 500 million possible trait combinations. The orcs have different backgrounds, faces, hair, ears, armor, necklaces, weapons, scars, wounds, tattoos, and war paint. Some traits are rarer than others, but all orcs stick together and venture into the unknown worlds as one uniform group. The orcs are fleeing the cursed land of Orakion and seek new adventures in an unknown world. Each orc holder can join their community and experience interactive community events full of wonder, epic tales, pen and paper like adventures and loot this is definitely a project worth following visit their site and discover this amazing world they created all right who do we have next all right next up we have rick wiesenar i hope i'm pronouncing your name right there i'm <laughs> sorry about that all right so a little bit about rick so from his early years rick has been busy with photography at a very young age his father gave him a camera to play with Soon he started creating interesting works, even at this young age. In time, he became more mature in his work, evolving in what Rick's work stands for today. In 1993, Rick founded his studio in the center of Den Bosch in the Netherlands, and in a short time, he gained worldwide recognition for his portraits. Nowadays, Rick lives and works in the capital city of the Netherlands, which is Amsterdam. Rick has been a photographer for over 20 years. Rick's main inspiration for his photography was and still is people and nature. His preference of human beings with their unique individuality, that is what Rick loves to freeze. Partially inspired by photographers like Robert Maplethorpe, Helmut Newton and others, Rick has created his own style of photography or rather styles of photography. He feels that a true artist can't be bound by one style. Rick's artwork shows a variety and a diversity you won't see with any other artist. In 1999, he won the Kodak Professional Portrait Award in the Netherlands. Also, a Hasselblad Uver Prize has been appointed to him later. At the moment, Rick is working on some interesting projects for several clients. Projects about portraits, travel, landscapes, architecture, culture, time-lapse photography, and DSLR cinematography, but also, of course, his male art photography. Rick has exhibitions in real life, online, and also sells some of his work as NFTs, the digital version of art. Wow, now that's a super impressive bio. You might want to follow Rick and DM him about some tips and tricks about photography as he's been doing that for over 30 plus years. All right, who's next? All right, so next up we have Sean. Now, sorry if I butcher your last name here. I'm gonna give it a shot. Uh, De Villiers, or is it De Villiers? I guess it depends on which part of France you're from. Oh wait, I think he said something about being from South Africa. I guess I'll have to ask him. Okay, so this artist likes to work with pencils, pastels, oils, and fun ASCII and pixel art. He is also a collector. If he likes it, he buys it. 
Sean is also the creator of the Needful Things groups of artists, promoters, and collectors. This here is an amazing group, which I myself am a part of. It's a great place to bounce ideas off other NFT artists. It's super supportive. Every artist is a collector as well. It's, it's a dream to be in there. It's just a great community to be part of. If you are interested in being part of the community, you can DM Sean on Twitter. All right, and last but not least, we have Sensation96. So Sensation96 is a 26-year-old female artist from Sri Lanka, and she is a college student. She has been doing art since she was little. The collection is all about the women who work hard to become financially independent and to provide for their families. She's, she just creates what comes to her mind. The collection is called Miss Working Girls. I don't know, I personally like this collection. It reminds me of my mother raising five kids as a single mom. I look forward to seeing what great things Sensation 96 comes up with next. Well, that's it for today, folks. If you like the show, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. If you're an artist and would like to be featured on our next video, just DM me on Twitter with three of your best images, a short bio, and a link to where those images are sold. And uh, yeah, would gladly put you on here. Until next time, keep on creating.